Hello everyone, welcome to Sky Haven, and this is going to be a first look video, and we're going to go in, we're going to play the game a little bit, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, I actually, I received the key about a week and a half or so ago, um, I'm just now getting to the video because I've been off, you know, the holidays come up and everything, and had to take some time off, and you know, I've really rejuvenated myself, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that. So, I was able to give to Kickstarter on this game because of you guys and all of my viewers out there and everything, so thank you for all of your support. Uh, if you want to learn how to support the channel, go ahead and click on the links down below. There is a link to Patreon, or you can become a member of the YouTube channel. It's only $4.99 a month, and you get uh, loyalty badges, you get special emotes with my dog Oliver, who is awesome, and is asleep right now, taking a nice little nap while I do this. But anyway, uh, go ahead and take a look at that stuff. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos that are going to be coming up. I'm going to be doing updates as the game updates and everything, and we'll have a short little series here, uh, but first... First, I want to get into um, like the roadmap and the Kickstarter campaign itself and everything else, too. So here we have the website of the Kickstarter campaign, which they, it's already done. It's closed. They got up to where they wanted to be, which is awesome. They ended up raising $60,000. Totally amazing. Um a bunch of features in the game here and everything. If you guys haven't seen much of this game yet, it, it just... It blows my mind at what they were able to do with this. Uh, I've only spent a couple of hours so far in the game itself, um, but it just feels like it's, it's it's a completely different feel of any other airport game that I've played. There are a lot of things that need to be done still. It's why it's in early alpha access right now. Like it's just it's like pre-alpha or alpha, whatever it is. It, it's just it's like <laughs> it's bare bones right now, but that's okay. That's all right. You know, I love being able to see a game grow and everything. Uh, so all I really want to talk about here on this page is the roadmap for the game. OK, so they started developing the game back in 2017, February uh, 2017, November. First working prototype, playable demo in August of 18. Did the Kickstarter in November 2019. And now here we are closed beta. Sorry, not alpha closed beta in uh, January of 2020. That is my fault for, you know, saying the wrong thing. Sorry. Uh, anyway, so the game itself starts out in early 1910, okay? And then it progresses from there. Right now, we've only got 1910 through 1940 available to us during that time period. Here in March, we're going to have up to 1950. In June, we'll have up to 2000. And then in August, if you didn't give to the Kickstarter campaign, you will get early access available on the game. That's when it'll come out for early access, hopefully. And then in December of 2020, so just a little ways away, okay, it's almost a year, but still, by the end of the year, we should have full timeline and DLC cargo available for the game. So, a lot of fun, a lot of history going into this game. If you guys want to go ahead and check this out, you can click on, I'll make sure I put this link in the description down below. You guys can go through and read through all of this stuff um, and, uh, and, and what's going to be available here in the game and, and what they're doing and everything. I'm really excited about it, so let's go ahead and get into the game here, shall we? All right, so here we are at the main menu, and there's one thing that you guys will notice throughout the entire game is that there's no sound. There's no music. Well, it's because there isn't any. <laughs> I don't have anything turned down or anything like that. There's just this. It's so early in the game right now. They don't have any of that stuff available currently. It's coming, though. It will be. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. The main menu here is very... You know, very basic, but, you know, there's there's a lot of room for growth there. So, Real Welders is the developer of the game. And to me, it says, hello, backer. This is Skyhaven Alpha number one. Okay, that's, that's where I'm getting myself confused here. Because this says Alpha, but the website says Beta. So, I'm going to go with Alpha. Because that's what that 
saying. Uh, disclaimer, please keep in mind that this is not a beta and still a work in progress. By continuing to play, you accept all of the pain and unsatisfaction related to unfinished products. Known issues, no music and sound, save sometimes can corrupt. Not to mention the fact that I don't have the ability to save this game right now, so we're going to have to try and figure out how the game is going to save in between this episode and the next episode. So, that's the end of the disclaimer. Super detailed tutorial. Games start in 1910. Here you have to build an airport for the first commercial flights, build runway and ramp, then connect it to the taxiway, build mail service and connect that to the ramp using a road, and then link the ramp and mail service. Last step, hire trucks and mail service window. Go and sign airlines. You are ready to land flights. Sincerely yours, Real Welders. So we will go ahead and get started with this. Uh, again, I'm so, so freaking happy about this. You have no idea. Um, we do have WASD for movement. We have mouse up and down. Now, Q and E does allow us rotation, but Q goes this way. E goes this way, which I want to be able to switch that, but we don't have an option for that yet. We'll get there. I'm sure they'll build, build that in. All of our keys are down here. Y and H will get our camera moving around. Spacebar, pause and play. Escape opens or closes open window, <clears throat> so on and so forth. Okay, so I'll just kind of leave that up there for right now. So first thing that I want to do, game is paused. And we have a couple things down here. We have our airfield buildings. We have roads and pathways. Um, <clears throat> I actually want to go into airfield and then we're going to go with our grass strip. So you can kind of see we have just a tiny little area right here right now. And that's just to kind of get our stuff moved around. Just kind of give us a little bit of a feel for the game. This is a little bit of a grid. So you can kind of see how we've got that built in there. Uh, now, every once in a while, I think I have been able to do a couple of angles here and there. But I haven't seen any curves that I can do. I don't think I can do any curves, at least not yet anyway. Um, so I'm just going to take this. I'm going to smack it dab right in the middle of that there. And we start out with $6,000. With, now, with everything that we have in here that gets us going to where we need to go, I think we still need a little bit more. I don't know. That might change when the you know later versions come out. So just like we do with everything else, we can press R to rotate and I want to pay attention to how this is coming in here. So <clears throat> if, if I'm remembering this correctly, I think this will be the plane will come in from the from this end up here coming down this way. Um, let's see. And then the taxi will come off of there. So let me place this. Let's place one here and I'm just going to place one down for now. Uh, let's connect the paths, so grass taxiway, which of course that's all we have available to us right now. Now the good thing right now is that, so we can click on this, this is our section to go into, and then it will actually give us the ability to, it lines it up for us, so we don't have to worry about making sure that that's, you know, in the correct line or anything like that, so that's good. Uh, so here's our first ramp, and then I want to take a road. Because that's what this is. This is a little road that's in here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to come down this way with it. Um, and then I need I need a mail service to come in here. Let's have this go straight this way. And then we'll have it come across this way. Airfield buildings. Let's go with let's see office post warehouse. So give me a warehouse. All right, so this is, this is uh, you know, we have, so we can place this building down wherever we want to, or we can just snap it to the road here, okay? So you can do that a couple different ways. Um, and then, oh, let's see. I don't want to, I, I don't want to make sure that I'm leaving anything out, you know what I mean? Um, I know I'm a little all over the place right now. <laughs> like I said, I've only spent a couple of hours on this, but I've had a lot of fun with it so far. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to take this grass ramp that's gonna take a minute to get used to saying uh and i have to link it to this post warehouse in order for me to link it i'm gonna click on this little link button and then i'm just gonna select the available warehouse perfect 
Now that I've done that, um, and this is something that I really, really like, it actually does give you, whoops, that is not what I wanted to do. Um, it does give you like little warning things above here that you can, you know, saying that I don't have any vehicles. Okay, great. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into here. I'm going to add and I'm going to go ahead and buy a vehicle. So we have the cost of the vehicle, upkeep of the vehicle, the speed and the capacity of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and click on that. So we're going to buy that vehicle. Okay, so we now have that available to us. Uh, I'm actually going to hit play on the game here real quick. And we'll, let's see how this goes. Give me the ability to go like that. <sighs> these these uh, Q and E keys. I, I keep wanting to hit Q to go make the camera turn this way. And E to make the camera turn this way. But that's not the correct way to do it. All right, so we have, oh, 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 and here's the other thing. So we have one ramp right here. That's nice. So number one. Uh, actually, if I were to add a second one in here, let me pause this. Uh, if I were to add a second grass ramp in here, let's rotate this and should be able to go, let's go right there with it. Now, something that you do have to kind of keep in mind, and I'm not going to do it right now, but if you have these like kind of off one another, um, these won't actually link up, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but you can see that these link over just like that. And then in order for me to click off of here, I just right click and that, you know, takes that off of there. Uh, connect that to there. And then I actually want to go ahead and connect this road all the way down to here so that this doesn't have to so the truck doesn't have to go all the way into into there <clears throat> now we have to do the same thing here we need to link this ramp to that post warehouse uh and since i have two i'm going to go ahead and give myself two vehicles so we're going to add an additional vehicle okay that is not what I wanted to do. I'm hitting, so T takes you all the way out and then G takes you all the way in. <laughs> I keep meaning to hit Y and H, so those key bindings are going to need to be changed once I have the ability to do so. Okay. Uh, so what else do we have down here? So we have a barrel stock, which is, I honestly don't remember. Uh, and then we have an office as well. So, yay, we have an incoming flight now available. So here are some things that you need to take a look at when it comes to an incoming flight. So the incoming flight will actually tell you what... Oh my god, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. <laughs> this is the screen that I want. Uh, I'm telling you, these, these key bindings really need to hurry up and let me change them. Um... So anyway, this will actually tell you, so we have the airliner, we have the required services that are down here that they need, so hover over it, that one needs fuel and it needs mail. Um, and then ramp size, so we have small, it looks like there's an ability to have a medium and large later on. And then it gives us our cost, so it'll be a $20 penalty for failing to service the airliner or for failing to land the airliner. But we then get, we do get $106 for landing, parking, uh, mail, unload, and load, and then $30 for fueling. And then obviously, you know, the less services, the less money you're going to make. Now, I can pick, I can click on this one, and then it actually shows me that I have two ramps open for this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this ramp. Now, for this guy, I actually don't have any fuel services available for him to land. So I can't do anything with him. I can do a couple of things. One, I can get the services in here. Or two, I can just click over here and then that gets rid of him. Right? I, it just denies the flight. But I want to go ahead and get fueling services in here. And that's actually what, uh, let's minimize that. That's what the barrel stock is. Barrel stock is for fueling, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and add, ooh, interesting. So I can't add, can't do that. Okay, so I can't add those right across from each other. 
but I can add this one onto here. So let's add that here. Uh, ooh. So vehicles, I can add one for right now, which is all I really need. If I needed a second one, you can come down here and you can click on parking slot upgrade and you can click on that. And then that will allow you to have an additional vehicle, which I like. I, I do. I really like that. Uh, but now that I have this, I also need to make sure that I am linking my ramps to the barrel stock in order for fueling to happen. Now, if I wanted to, I could leave just one of these with fueling and the other one without fueling. But that is going to limit me on what airlines can land where. So right now I'm just going to have both of these hooked up to everything. Now that this is available, it's showing that I can land this one here. This one is occupied, even though it's not showing occupied, but we have scheduled one to land there. So we'll go ahead and select that as well. And let's go ahead and turn this on. Now the service trucks and everything will go out to the ramp as long as something is scheduled to go there. There he goes, collecting the mail and bringing it back over. Now, we have another plane that has popped up, but we can't do anything with it yet. So I'm just going to let it sit there until one of these two guys opens up. And once that opens up, I can go ahead and get that in here. As this is going on, now we're starting to make money, right? We got down to, what, like 900 bucks or something like that? Um, quickly pause the game. Assess what I've got going on here. I'm going to go ahead and just do that one. And I'm going to do this one. And there we go. So that's kind of how the game plays out for the first, I don't know, little while, you know, and then as you go through and start building up some money and everything after, I don't know, I'd say probably the first day you're going to sit here and you know, you've got a couple of ramps available. You have flights coming in and stuff like that to kind of kind of build up some money, maybe add a couple more ramps in at the end of the next at the end of this day. We'll see. Let's go ahead and fast forward this on like major fast forward uh so this one we'll do i'm gonna do this one next actually because <clears throat> you know fueling and everything and that's it's not necessarily it for right now but i mean that's that's what we're doing for today so um i don't like i said i don't have the ability to save um but <laughs> What I'd like to do is I'm really just kind of going to go through and uh, have these flights come in, build up a little bit of money. And then in the next episode, what we'll do is we will look at adding in an office and seeing what that unlocks for us. So there you go. There's the overview basics of the game so far. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Again, this is a very early access version of the game. We are in alpha, beta, whatever you want to call it. So there's no sound, no music. It's very simple, very easy, but it's it has a lot of promise. It really does. I, I think this game is going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, there is so much more that I've seen in videos on like what is going to be available for this game. So I'm really, really interested to see how this unfolds. So again, let me know what your thoughts are in the description down below. Um, as you can see, we have a bunch of more airplanes coming in here that we can't really service right now. Um, I have that one that I just did. Passengers I can't do anything with. Uh, fueling I can definitely do something with. But then cargo is something that I can't do anything with. So we're just going to have to say sorry, bye-bye to those flights. A um, couple of other things. So we have money up here. We have research stuff that's up here, which we'll get into later. Uh, passengers in the airport, obviously, that is what it is. And then airplanes in the airport right now, we can only have up to 10 because, well, it's a very, very tiny airport. Um, Let's see, what else is there? That's all I can really think of for right now for today. So if you uh, are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. And make sure you hit the notification bell to get notified on when I upload videos. I'm going to be trying to upload a little bit more often this year. I I've got some really good uh, things that I want to do here with the channel this year. So 
Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode so far. Again, give it a like. Put comments down in the comment section down below. There's going to be a link to the Kickstarter campaign in the comment or in the description down below. Uh, and if there's anything you want to know about the game, just let me know. I will try and answer it as best that I can. But I'm still new to this game myself. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next time.